Hello everyone, we are here at REI 2024 and today we have Mr. Ravi Rao, Managing Director, Future Solar. Hello sir, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. I'm good too. My first question to you would be, could you share the story behind how your business journey began? Basically, we are into real estate and into healthcare. And then last year we decided that as part of our diversification, looking at the potential and the government targets into the renewable energy sector, we decided to venture into the uh, uh, solar module manufacturing industry basically. Then in phase one, uh, we decided to set up one module line to start up. Uh, that's a 600 megawatt of module line that we commenced, commenced the commercial production last month. Now, uh, we are developing a green energy park in Baroda, close to Kurjan, where we have acquired somewhere around 50 acres of land parcel. So, phase one is module manufacturing of 600 megawatt. Now, we are expanding the capacity and we are going up to 4 gigawatt in module manufacturing by March 2025. Okay, sir. Can you highlight your product range, quality standards and plans to enhance production capacity? Yes. Uh, the product is, our main focus is going to be top on glass to glass. We also have work as part of the product, but the main core focus is going to be top on glass to glass modules with a power output of 600 plus. So we will be able to offer around 650 watt peak of Topcon modules also. After a few months, we're planning to launch HJT product also, HJT modules of 700 watt peak also. Uh, as far as the quality is concerned, as countries, uh, manufacturing capability th through the entire value chain is expanding as due to the government support and the high demand that we foresee for the next couple of years in this country basically and India is becoming a global manufacturing hub for the solar uh, products. So we plan to venture into the mod, uh, cell production also so by next year we will start working on a gigawatt facility of the cell manufacturing also. How do you see emerging technologies shaping the future of the solar industry and what is your company's roadmap in this regard? So it's a very much technological driven industry and we have seen how the technology has evolved in the last couple of years. We were talking about somewhere about 300 watt peak of modules and now we are talking of 700 watt peak of the modules. So that's the that's that shows the how how much technological advancement it is going to it is taking place. India used to install around 15 gigawatt. Now we are talking about in yearly installation of 30 to 40 gigawatt at least basically. So we as a future solar are very much excited to contribute into countries uh, renewable energy targets basically. Are there any recent projects or partnership you had like to share with us? Uh, I would not be able to share it right now, but we are at final stage of closing very good projects uh, in gigawatt scale in next few months. MNRE has recently proposed to include solar PV cells under the ALMM by 2026. Uh, what, your, what are your views on this and how do you see this policy impacting your company? Oh, it is, it is undoubtedly the need of the hour. As we see that from 1st April, the LMM has been implemented for the modules and uh, countries, module manufacturing capacity is growing uh, like anything. So that, that uh, government support is must. Once, so just by the proposal of MNRE for introducing LMM into the cell, so many uh, uh, players are planning to get into the cell manufacturing and we are one of that also. So India needs to have a cell manufacturing capability in gigawatt to reduce the dependence. And my last question to you would be, how has the response been at the RAI Expo so far and what message would you like to give consumers to encourage them in energy sector? Oh, the response has been fantastic. It's just the day one and we've got people visiting from across all the parts of the country. And everybody is so excited for the coming years into the solar industry in this country. This is the very right time to be at the, any part of the supply chain of the entire industry, be it as EPC player, be it as a developer, be it as a 
any module manufacturer or any raw material supplier. This is the right time to be in this industry at least for the next 10 to 20 years.